Hi, we'll be seeing a problem in comparison of ranks. What this comparison of ranks actually is, a very easy problem that they'll give you some sequences in some statements. One Here in this question, they have given one, two, three, and four, five statements they have given you. You have to find the logic between these statements and make some assumptions and answer the questions given below. While making this logical, you have to think, you have to read the statement twice or thrice to understand the logic. Make sure that whatever the assumption you are making is correct and you can proceed to the problem. Now I will do it. 7 students A, B, C, D, E, F and G take a series of tests. No two students get similar marks. G always scores more than A. A always scores more than B. Each time either C scores the highest and E gets the least or alternatively D scores the highest and F or B scores the least. Now we will solve this problem. There are 7 students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The first statement is complete. 7 students A, B, C, D, E, F and G take a series of tests. No two students get similar mark. Two statements we have understood. Third statement is G always scores more than A. Whenever the test they conduct, G always scores more than A. I have written in ascending order. So, G is the highest and A is the least. And A always scores more than B. So, more than B, A always scores more than B. This statement they have given you. First statement we have understood from this. Second thing, e, each time either C scores the highest. First C scores and E gets the least. Whenever C scores the highest, E gets the least. This is the second statement they have. we have to understand. Or D scores the highest, B or F scores the least. So, what we have to conclude here is always C and D, C or D scores the first. First rank will be either C or D and the last rank will be E, B or F. Now, we will go to the problem. What is the first problem? If D is ranked 6th and B is ranked 5th, which of the following can be true? If D is ranked 6th, D and B is ranked 5th. Which of the following can be true? They have given you some uh, statements, answers they have given you. If B, we know that first thing is uh, G always scores more than A and A always scores more than B. So, before B, we can take G and A. And another thing what we know is either D gets the first or C gets the first. Here it is obvious that D is sixth. So, it will be only C. Whenever the C gets the first mark, E gets the least mark. That is the statement, fifth statement. And only one thing left out is F. So, this will be the possible assumption, first assumption I have made. Okay. In this assumption, what are all the things that won't change? C and E or C will get the first and E will get the least. This won't change. This is because of the statement 5. Okay. Next is D is 6th. This is given in the question and B is 5th. This is given in the question. These things won't change. And now we have to try out some assumptions like this. C, G may get the second, F may get the third and A may get the fourth 
and the same thing will come here b d e that is b here d here and e here c gets the first and g second and a is third and f is fourth b d and e and no other possible things we can do because always g should score more than b here the condition is fulfilled g is more, uh, g is more than b the condition is fulfilled next one a is always more than b this condition is fulfilled here in this statement okay next in this statement also g always gets more than a this condition is fulfilled second condition third condition a always gets more than b this is fulfilled so only these are the possible assumptions we can make out of this question now see the options g is ranked first or fourth no possibility because always the first one will be g and second question second question is c is ranked second or third that that is also not possible because c is the first one a is ranked second or fifth a is ranked second or fifth that also we didn't get anywhere fourth option f is ranked third or fourth ah uh, yes this one we have got here f is ranked third or fourth so this may be the possible answer then fifth option e is ranked fourth or fifth no way because whenever c gets the highest e gets the least so this is also not possible so the possible answer will be f is ranked third or fourth this is the possible answer in the same way we have to make assumptions and make the problems out of, uh, solve the problems out of here if c gets most second problem if c gets most g should be ranked not lower than okay the same thing we'll do it here c gets the most means c is the first rank and e will be the last rank 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and what are the possible things we can do from here is E. I can insert this G, A, and B anywhere here. F and D. I can insert here. Or the second option will be F can be here. G, A, B, and D, E. Third option is. we'll do it from here c gets the most so c and if c gets the high, highest rank e will get the least rank so this according to the statement then i have to make assumptions that g always scores more than a a always scores more than b d and f we don't know anything so i'm inserting in fifth and sixth rank next assumption i can make is d may get second rank and g a b and f in the same sixth rank third option i can make is c g can get the second rank d a and b f can get the uh, rank, uh, sixth rank and this one now f in the second g a b d 
and E. From this thing, however I rearrange the things, I will get one thing here out of here. A, B and E. These are the assumptions I can make. Now we will go for the options. What are the options they have given? If C gets the most, G should, not, should be ranked not lower than. Okay. G should not get ranked lower than. First option is second. No. G can get G can get third rank too. So no. Second option is third. Yes, it can get the G here G have got two G three four. I can't insert G in fifth rank because E should get the least. So I can't insert G in fifth rank. So the answer is G can't get rank lower than fourth. This problem is solved. Now we will go for the next problem. The next problem is if C is ranked second and B is ranked B is ranked fifth, which of the following must be true? C is ranked first, B is ranked sorry. If C is ranked second, B is ranked fifth. B is ranked fifth. Which of the following must be true? If C is second, according to our assumption, D should be the first. If D is first, either B or F must be the least. Here they have given us that B is fifth. So F will be the least. These things they have given. We should not change the value positions of D, C, B and F. Other things we need to fill. A always scores more than B and G always scores more than A. Two things and only one thing left out is E. This will be the assumption. Any other assumptions we can make is not possible because we can't change the positions of D, C, B and F and moreover we can't change the position of G and A also. Why? Because according to that rule G should always score more than A and A should always score more than B. B is, if B is in the fifth only this is the possible thing. What are the options? We will see it now. If D is ranked the second, C is ranked second and B is ranked fifth, which of the following can be true? D is ranked third. No way. If C is ranked first, D should get the first position. And E is ranked sixth. E is correct. E is ranked sixth. We will check out the other thing also. And A is ranked 6th, no. And G is ranked 4th, no. G is ranked 3rd here. F is ranked 6th, F is ranked 6th, no way. So the correct answer is G is ranked 4th, sorry E is ranked 6th is the correct answer. This one I forgot to tick, 4th is the answer. If D is ranked the second, which of the following can be true? Next problem is, if D is ranked second, so C will be the first and E will be the least. We can insert G, A, B in the position 3, B, F. Okay. I can't change the position of C, E, 
D because D is given as kid in the question problem itself. Next uh, thing I can change is only thing I can change is I can change the position of F or something here. C D F G A B and E. So we'll move for the answer. F gets more than G. Yes, first thing is possible. F gets more than G. G gets more than D. No way because D is the second. It is given in the problem. And if D is the second, C is the first. It is given in the statement 5. So, G can't score more than D. A gets more than C. No way. Whenever D is the, either A or D is the, uh, C or D is the first. That is given in statement 5. A gets more than G. A gets more than G is not possible because of the statement 3. E gets more than B. No way. Because of statement 5, it is known that whenever C is the first and E gets the least. So, this is also not possible. The only possible answer is F gets more than G. Next problem. If G is ranked fifth. Okay. Which of the following can be true? G is ranked fifth. Then we know that if G is ranked fifth, next always A and B. This one I am feeling. B always gets more, G always gets more than A, G always gets more than B. So I have filled it this way. If B gets the least mark, then first mark should be D. So filling here D. Then I am, it may be an option of C, E and F or I can rearrange it as D, E, C, F, G, A, B. These are the assumptions I can make. Which of the following can be true? D scores the highest, correct? That will be the option. Answer. D scores the highest. Second assumption. C is ranked second. Yes, that is also a possible thing. E is ranked third. That is also a possible thing. B is ranked fourth. That is not possible. F scores the least. That is also not possible. So, here three answers we are getting. D scores the highest, C gets the second and E is ranked third. Which one to choose? The thing we must understand is whenever B, get, B, B gets the least, D gets the first. This is according to the statement. This may change any time. C gets second uh, sometimes. It may get third in the second assumption. E gets second in the second assumption. May get third in the uh, second assumption. So, this assumption may change for C and E. The assumption will not change for T. So, the right answer is A, D scores the highest. In this way, we need to solve the problems. We have to understand it and solve the problems. Thank you.